The there price is. and the water cost more than the fuel for the boat. You know that. It's one economical machine, eh? It's right there. That tagging that you've done on it, eh? You I'm may have to spray the whole thing. You might have potentially got carried away. My autistic part. My autistic or autistic, I'm not too sure. It's important for you to uh, express yourself though. Yeah. Got my own personality on. Look at all this tagging. Spiro, live life and breathe. Good wisdom. <laughs> um, we're going to be doing a lot of drift diving. Uh, next to the boat, potentially diving in a lot of uh, updwellings or bait balls. So what you want to do is, if you can picture, the bait ball will be on the first um, layer of clean water. And then underneath you'll have the thermocline. So you want to dive where the clean water meets the thermocline and under the bait. Because uh, how a kingfish is designed, a uh, haku or a kingfish has green on the top of his body and he uses the green water to hunt with. So most of the time you'll be down under the bait grunting and out of nowhere you'll see kingfish come up from the depths. So they use that green water to hunt. So next time you're out on the water and you want to dive in a, a bait ball, uh, make sure you dive right under the bait and hang underneath them rather than diving in between them. Also because if you're in the middle of the bait ball and you make a turn for a fish, like so, you're going to spook the whole bait ball, which sets everyone else off, which will spook the shoulder pinkfish. So, there's your tip for this morning, and we'll see you out on the water. The water's looking nice. The water's looking good here, eh? Yeah. Alright. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. Hey, horse Hooper! To go. Those were aggressive shots. <laughs> what went down? Well, my first experience on the um, on the fend off. It's uh, that's for sure. Uh, and then I see a big bronzy just lurking around below, so I kept an eye on it. And then out the corner of my eye, there was another bronzy circling, a uh, smaller one. And yeah, it just came from down in the depths there. Straight up, straight up, and then I just hit up. Give it the old poke in the nose. <laughs> the old pokeroo. Eh? But yeah, it was pretty aggressive. Oh, 
behind you. Rather extravagant, bro. Hard out sharks, fish, a good viz. Just fish everywhere, as you can see. Now, chunky, yeah, chunky, bro. bro. Well 18, done. I think. 18. Yeah, it's a good yeah, time to <laughs> share around. On the last Sparrow mission um, that we did together, Rudy gifted a haku um, to someone. And um, on this occasion again, the Master Blaster has, uh, has passed on a haku, so really awesome to share around the, the kai and you know, it's been a, a beautiful day, we've been blessed with a, a really good gather, um, beautiful conditions and we saw that a few people where we were today, they were really struggling for fish. Really struggling, that guy, that guy on that jet ski was really struggling. Yeah, so he was so grateful to to get something and um, yeah as Rudy says it's always nice to give back and yeah true story you can't always just take 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 because in the ocean eventually you're going to want you to pay tax and then you're going <laughs> to the tax man was definitely there today though the tax men were there man in full force hmm. yep there was uh there was an abundance of bronze waiter sharks. I don't so. normally panic around sharks, but I was backpedaling. <laughs> the first one, oh. I was backpedaling. Because the fish, the thing about it, the shark was trying to get to the fish and the fish was swimming to me for protection. And I'm trying to get away from the fish and the fish is following me and the shark is following the shark fish. Mm. Mental. That's good. Great mission. Got on the road quite early. Uh, 0400 out to here and what we shot four fish by 830 we could have come home it was actually remember i said you know what time it is it was quarter to, it was quarter to eight was it yeah we had three fish on deck yeah, so. beautiful managed to put us into the right spot at the right time and um yeah everything's aligned really well so um, 11 o'clock now and uh, we're done for the day done for the day and that's on to the pie and the coffee yeah pie and the coffee yeah, BP mate. BP special I see Final part of the day is the wash down. There he is, doing the old motor a good run through. Morning, guys. Well, I've left the kingfish on the washing line overnight. It was nice and cool, so um, sun's just come up, so I'm going to start processing them now. Just stopped for a quick breakfast. Breakfast of kings right here. Excuse the pun. Um, yeah, so I've processed one. On to the next coffee break now and uh, this is the, some sashimi so with the skeleton of the kingfish you've got all this very tender meat which sort of sits very close to the backbone here so with your knife you can just finely shave off small bits and pieces and that is your sashimi right there so nice and thin it's extremely tender as well um, I like to have a little bit of wasabi and soy and um, yeah throw down a coffee and carry on so vacuum sealed the heads as well so making use of all the meat there um, there's heaps of meat in the cheek and then also through the top as well there's a lot of meat in here both sides so it's very good to uh, utilize everything and that will be smoked hot smoked all in one go so. Cheers. <laughs> 